I'm Carl Anthony with AutoSense TV. AutoSense Detroit 2019 here at the Michigan Science Center, well underway. And we're speaking today with Beat Decoy, the CEO and founder of Espros. And it's so wonderful that you've joined us here this year at AutoSense. Thank you very much. Uh, glad to be here. So tell us a little bit about Espros. You started the company. Tell us the story behind uh, Espros. Well, when you do 3D time of flight imaging, you need uh, uh, imager technology, which is very sensitive in the near infrared, and uh, which is uh, also very fast because uh, you're measuring uh, uh, the arrival time of uh, of light in, uh, let's say, picosecond or several picosecond resolution. And uh, unfortunately, silicon by nature is not very sensitive for near infrared. So, and we address these two points with a novel uh, semiconductor technology. It's basically CMOS and based on silicon, and uh, it allows uh, a very high quantum efficiency, a very high speed uh, and high performance CCD, ideal for uh, time of flight imaging. You have some displays here at AutoSense for the attendees to see. You have some demonstrations. Tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, uh, when you, uh, as, I, as I said, uh, we are basically a semiconductor company. We manufacture uh, these imager chips, uh, but uh, there's not much to show. So uh, it's just a piece of silicon. It looks like, like a processor or a memory or so. But uh, uh, to uh, make that a little bit more transparent, we have some uh, demonstrator uh, cameras, camera module, modules like, like this one, uh, which is uh, shown here. At, the, uh, at our display, and uh, it, it shows the performance of the uh, of, of this technology. Basically, very low uh, intensity uh, illumination, but very long range. And so, why is long range? Why is that important for this technology? Well, when you're looking. Uh, uh, about uh, autonomous driving or driver assistance systems, automatic parking uh, technology. Uh, you need uh, imagers which uh, are capable to, uh, to sense the environment in 3D. And uh, it is any environment, so that means uh, you could have uh, full sunlight on your target or uh, black night. And uh, with uh, a not sensitive uh, technology, you need a lot of illumination uh, to do this. And uh, then you're running into an eye safety problem. So the more sensitive the receiver is, the less illumination you need, less power, but also uh, not critical for eye safety. So as CEO of the company, tell us about your team and some of the uh, experts and engineers that you have working for you. Yeah, we have uh, basically four uh, areas uh, of uh, uh, engineering we do, uh, besides manufacturing. We are production companies uh, nowadays where we, we produce uh, millions of chip per year, tens of millions of chip per year. And uh, uh, it, it all starts with uh, semiconductor technology experts. So they are typically uh, 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 applied physics uh, uh, engineers. Uh, all of them are uh, PhDs, of course. And then uh, we do chip design. Uh, analog and digital chip design. Uh, we have a team, a big team in Switzerland and uh, a fairly good team in, uh, in Shanghai okay. where we design the chips. Then there is a, we call that the product engineering team which uh, uh, does uh, the evaluation, characterization of the chips but also implements modules like this. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, finally, uh, process engineers, because this uh, semiconductor manufacturing needs specific processes. Sure. And we have people which are uh, 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 experts in, in doing semiconductor processing. Uh, one more time, I'd like to go back to the time of flight. Uh, for those who are not maybe as familiar with it, uh, one, what is time of flight and why is it important? Well, time, time of flight is a technology which allows to capture 3D images of the scenery. That means uh, with a, um, a single shot, you not just get black and white information or grayscale information or color information, but at the same time, every pixel reports 
uh, also the distance to the object. So and that, uh, that allows the, uh, this uh, three-dimensional imaging. And uh, there are s several techniques uh, possible, uh, stereo camera, uh, uh, structured light, and time of flight is basically a technology where you emit uh, uh, light, modulated light or pulsed light, and you measure how long it takes for the light to travel to the scenery and back to the camera. So, and that needs ultra-fast uh, uh, receivers be, uh, because it's, uh, the, light is, is, the speed of light is so fast. Talk to me a little bit about your products and services and your customers and how you're a leader in the market. Yeah, our products are uh, um, uh, TOF imagers. We have a range of uh, standard products at TOF imaging, so very uh, low resolution, but also extremely low cost. For example, for people counting or uh, just basic uh, distance ranging. Uh, then a little bit uh, higher resolution, like this. It's 160 by 60 uh, pixel. Uh, these kind of uh, products are used in uh, mobile robotics to uh, navigate or help uh, the, the, the robot to navigate uh, in, the, in the scenery doing SLAM. Sure. Um, and also automotive, for example, identify uh, the driver mm -hmm. or uh, looking at the position of, of the driver or the passengers. Sure. Yeah, and then uh, uh, our, our flagship uh, product is a, a QVGA imager. Uh, with uh, uh, fairly high resolution, for example, used in uh, 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 automotive applications, okay. left behind objects uh, is, is, the, is the, the, the topic here. Barrett, from all of us here at AutoSense Detroit, we want to thank you for being part of the conference. We want to wish you a safe flight home, and thank you for being here, and we look forward to seeing you in Hong Kong in 2020. Thank you very much, Carl. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Likewise, and speaking today with Barrett Decoy, the CEO and founder of SPROS. For more AutoSense, like, subscribe, and share.